Okay, let's go ahead and solve when either we discuss the problem. There are three parallel plates in the system as illustrated in the figure below. The top plate is moving to the right with a constant velocity of 5 meter per second, while the plate B is stationary. All the necessary fluid properties and parameters are illustrated in the figure. What should be the speed and direction of plate C? Okay, so first of all, this is interesting in the sense that there is only one velocity that exists in real life for this to be satisfied. Okay, that's what I would like you to realize. Now, let's go ahead and uh, think about what we will do. Okay, the thing is, let's look at the center plate. So there will be a force in it from the existing of the stop fluid, and there will be force ex due to the existence of the bottom fluid. So these forces must equal to each other and in the opposite direction for it to cancel, right? The force on the center plate from the top fluid number 2 is 5 newtons to this way. And if the force on the center plate from first fluid is 2, then it's going to move to the right, right? So what it should happen, let's say that this is the force over here is 5, then this needs to be minus 5 so for it to cancel and make it stationary. So that's the information that I will be using, okay? Let's call this 2, let's call this 1. So shear stress 1 will be equal to viscosity 1 times du1 dy. And then once I obtain my shear stress, I will multiply by area to obtain the force that I need. For the second fluid, it's the same. It will be the second fluid, viscosity times du2 dy, right? And at the end, I will have the shear stress 2 times the area, and the area is the same. You can see it's symmetric, it will be f. And what I'm saying is, these two must equal to each other and be opposite. Okay, let's do it then. So from here, you can see areas are the same, right? So they will cancel other. So shear stress 1 must be shear stress 2 on the center plate. So then viscosity 1 times du1 dy must be equal to viscosity 2 du2 dy. Okay, so from here, let's take a look at the figure. And this is glycerin actually. This is 1.5. It's a very viscous uh, fluid. And this is ethyl alcohol. Okay, so I'll use those two. And let's look at the velocity here. This is 5. And look at this distance. This is tiny. For small gaps, distances like this, we can safely assume that the velocity profile will be linear like this. Okay, so this will help me. So du2 dy will be 5 minus 0 divided by 4 millimeters, right? That's what it will be. And for the second fluid that I have here, so if I want to draw this, this will be like this on the other side. Like this, okay? All right. Okay, let's go ahead and write this relationship. First thing I want to look at is the viscosity one is 1.5, so let's just write right over here. Um, and also, the viscosity two is 1.19 times 10 to the minus three. So that's given to me. So let's look at this du1 dy. Okay, we have to be consistent. If you write the velocity at the top minus the velocity at the bottom over here, you must write the velocity at the top minus the velocity at the bottom in here. You cannot simply go ahead and write 5 minus 0 for this, and then you go ahead and write this minus that. That's not going to work. Okay, so we have to be careful about it. So this becomes 1.5 times 0 minus v. So I chose to write from here to from here. Okay, 0 minus v divided by the distance between those two. So those are 2 millimeters, so it's 10 to the minus. And let's look at the second one as well. So what we will get for the second one is I now must use the top minus the bottom because that's how I wrote over there. So that will be 5 minus 0, right? So let's write it here. It's going to be 5 minus 0 divided by 4 millimeters. So that's 4 times 10 to the minus 3. So from here, 10 to the minus 3's are gone, so this becomes 5, so this is 
4, this is 2, so you can see that this becomes 2, but 2 times that becomes minus 3v will be equal to 5 times 1.19 times 10 to the minus 3. So from here, what you're going to get is you're going to get v is equal to minus 2 times 10 to the minus 3 meter per second. Okay. So one thing to note over here is that this value, let's go back over here. This value seems fairly small, right? This is 5, and I'm saying that this needs to go with 2 times 10 to the minus 3 in this direction. So did I make a mistake somewhere? Or the calculator is not working well or something? No, not really. The reason is this. Look at this viscosity value. So this is ethyl alcohol, and this is the glycerin. Glycerin is a very viscous fluid. So what I have to do is I have to move this just a little bit to create the same force. Think of this as like the friction in your salt mechanics. The friction coefficient is much higher over here compared to over here. Okay. 